Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and today we're here with the Massey Ferguson 2607H and the 1526. But we've got our Fergie, Fergie buddies. We've got little Fergie and Miss Massey here, our scarecrows from our fall decor. We're gonna ride around on the bucket and show why buckets are not a place for kids to ride or anyone to ride. And we got old Fergie up there hanging out. He's gonna try to clean out the gutters or something. And we're gonna show you what could happen and why loader buckets are no place for human. Uh, they're designed to lift and be handy tools on the farm, but they're no place for people to ride. They're very dangerous and things can happen too fast that can injure or even kill someone. So stay tuned. Hope this helps you learn a little bit about bucket safety and why we are so emphatic here at Varnberg Implement to do it right. Fergie's just chilling in the bucket up there. He thinks it's a great safe place to trim trees, to clean out gutters, do things that are high that he needs to, little extra lifting device to get to. But little does Fergie know, he's in one of the most unsafe places there is. There's a loader bucket that is only hold, having hydraulic oil holding them back. You've got hoses, cylinders, O-rings, valves, and you're relying on that with your life. Let's see what happens to Fergie with this standard style bucket loader on a this 911X loader on this 2607. As it comes down, watch how the bucket drops. And you don't have a chance if you're in that bucket and a hose breaks or an o-ring blows or a coupler tip goes bad we're going to show you simulate with the float position of what happens in a loader bucket situation when a failure happens in the hydraulic system here we go Did you see how fast Fergie fell to the ground? He face planted himself. From that level, he could have had a serious injury, paralyzed himself, he could have had and even killed himself with a face plant like that. He didn't have time to think and react. It could be as simple as somebody operating the loader and hitting the wrong button and causing your loved one to fall face first onto the ground. That's why we're so emphatic about loader safety you don't want to get hurt or hurt a loved one because it would ruin your life forever falling like this that's why we use the simulator and our dear old fergie our scarecrow to simulate what can happen so fast so never put an operator in a bucket and now we're going to show you another reason of things that can happen in a loader bucket that you're not aware of The next thing we're going to talk about is riding in the bucket as a mode of transportation. It looks like fun, it sounds like fun, and it's a great way to hurt a kid or an individual that's riding in the bucket. There's a couple different things. One of them is visibility from the operator. Can you see them? This is the operator's view, and you're missing your two kids you can't see what's happening you can't see they're having fun you're dancing playing and all that stuff and thinking you're enjoying the farm but what happens next may ruin your life forever
It just took a little bump. And what happened? We just ran over our little Miss Massey and little Fergie. We couldn't see them out of the bucket. They fell out hitting that bump. And that changed your life forever. You would never want your kids to have that happen to them. Loader safety is so important. We're emphatic about it here at Varnberg Implement. That's why we're doing this video. A lot of people won't watch or share, but this video is to mean a point. It's to save somebody's life. If we save just one person's life, whether it be a kid, an adult, or whoever, from having an accident with a loader, anytime you use a loader and you have to be under it, you need to put a mechanical stop under it because things can happen, things can fail so fast. You don't want this happening to your kids or, your, or yourself falling down on a, because the loader leaked down and fell. You don't want to get run over. A sudden turn could call it, cause them to fall out. So make sure that you don't have this happen. The best and safest thing is a tractor is only safe in the operator seat. There's only one room for one operator and that's in the seat. That's with the seat belt and with the roll bar up. If you have to take the roll bar down to get in low clearance, once you get done with your low clearance work, you put the roll bar back up. Because you're only safe in this area, in this zone. You've got a zone here. They actually roll tractors over to ensure that you're safe and will not get harmed. The bucket is not a place. Riding on the seat, extra riders on the seat, unless the tractor has a temporary instructor seat so like some of the larger cab tractors do. I hope that helps you learn more about tractor safety from the folks here at Varnberg Implement. We don't want to ever see another customer disappear or lose their life because of an accident. A tractor rollover, loader safety. We've already heard too many stories that we don't want to have to hear another one again if we can help prevent that. That's why we've done this video here today is to help you learn about tractor safety and why it's important. Make sure you properly ballast your tractors and you use safe loader operating skills when operating them. And the, their bucket is no place for any human, kids, adults, whatever. You don't want to be flat faced like Fergie. You don't want to get run over like little Miss Massey or fall out of the bucket like little Fergie. If you're in West Central Missouri, come visit us at Varnberg Implement. We would love to talk tractor safety with you so that you can learn how to use your tractor properly. And if you're in, interested in tractors, we're located right here at Fairground Avenue and Missouri 13 Highway. We're just 15 miles south of the Missouri River in Lexington, Missouri. We're just four miles north of Interstate 70. We're just a 49 miles from the Missouri-Kansas line, about 30 minutes, 30 miles from the stadium complex. We've got a lot of tractors coming in. They're still moving good. We got GCs, 1526s, 1800Ms, the 2800 utilities, 2600 utilities, 4700s, and we've even got a 77 24S down there. Come visit us, Varnberg Implement. We want to get you more for your hard earned dollars. Show you the features of Massey Ferguson, and most importantly, show you how to operate it properly so that you can live a long, healthy life and your kids and your friends and your family too. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that helped you learn.